start. Uh -huh. City talk. Let's get it started. 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 City talk. Let's get it started. 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 City talk. City talk. My man, Rod, 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 Rod. My man, Roar, 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 Roar. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. My man, Rod, 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 Rod. My man, Roar. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is City Talk. We're the host. This is Big Four. And I'm Gerard Carter. We're back for another edition. But before we get into it, make sure you download the Coyote Man TV show network. You can find that on Amazon Fire, Roku, and you can also find it where you find your mobile apps. So uh, we're going to get into it. But before we do, it's June 13th. You said something happened today. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot happening today. You know, June is a uh, definitely a powerful month. You know what I'm saying? For um, um, black music, also, you know what I'm saying? Also, um, today, um, uh, June the thir uh, 13th, uh, Thurgood Marshall was appointed to uh, Supreme Court in uh, 1967. Okay. So shout out, you know what I'm saying? Thurgood so West Marshall, Baltimore. West Baltimore. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Frederick Douglass High School. You know. There we go. Uh, there is a little history there, and also too. Um, this week, um, it's gonna be a, a, a strawberry moon. It's gonna be a strawberry moon this uh, this week. Explain what the strawberry moon. The is. strawberry moon is more so like yo. This is when the Earth orbits close to the moon, and this is gonna be where the moon is, is the closest to planet Earth. So go out there with your lady. Go on, go out there, get a nice Sip bottle of wine. wine. It's gonna have like a red hue to it. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, like hey, it's so gonna have it. It's called the strawberry so, moon. So, so, so get some like some white zip and Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. Go okay. get you a nice dessert wine with the lady and go on, drop some strawberries in the red velvet uh, cupcake. Yeah, with yeah, it. yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, you know. So yeah, brother G. Um, and yo, uh, one other thing happened on June thirteenth. What's that? It's Jerome's birthday. Yo, yo, shout out to Jerome yeah, McMurray. Yeah, neck bone. What up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Good friend of ours. Should see him one day on City Talk. Yeah. So, um, what are we going to get into first? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I know that, yo, wasn't you telling me something about the, the Juneteenth situation? Yeah, you know, okay, this is June, and um, Juneteenth is a lot of celebrations are starting this week. Wow. And um, it kind of had baffled me at first. I didn't really understand, like, what that meant that people didn't, you know, know that they were free. So when I did some research, you know, you know got it broke down to me, 1863 was the Emancipation Proclamation, but Juneteenth isn't until 1865, so I was like, how could that be? I thought once they signed it, everybody was supposed to comply. No, the, the states that were in the South still had a different opinion of what was going on. We were still split. So any states that were occupied by Union troops, it immediately went into effect. Okay. But in all the states that opposed it and still had, you know, their military, they had to be subdued before it went into effect. So in 1865, that's when finally uh, General, Two years later. General Granger showed up with 2,000 troops and finally subdued Texas, and they had to comply with the Emancipation Proclamation. Yeah, so that all made sense to me, you know, by then, you know. Yeah. So, um... Because also because, no, in, in, in January the 1st, 1863... At the stroke of midnight, slavery was supposed to have been over. Right. So, you know what I'm that's saying? That's in the Union But state. that was in, that was two, but two years later, that's when they went down they to Texas. They finally made it down. Because you got to figure, we didn't have cars, we didn't have no internet, no, you know, and the people down in Texas definitely wasn't going to tell. No, they, right. And they like did, you said, and they, they were sending people down there and they would turn them away. Yeah, they was like, oh no, someone was getting killed. Right. right. They was like, oh no, yo, like, yo, Texas was kind of almost kind of like, yo, like, I don't know what happened over there, but down here, we still, business is normal. You know, so you see the strength in numbers, and General Granger had to show up with those troops. And, uh, you know, it's crazy because there's a hardware store named Granger, and their slogan is, <laughs> the ones that get it done. <laughs> so, yeah. hey. Do you think know, that's where it came from? I, maybe so. I didn't get that far as in my research. You know, it just kind of popped in my head. But shout out to, you know, General Granger uh, for getting it done, you know? Man, yo, come on. Man. Granger ain't doing it, man. Yo, we damn there. Like, you know I mean, with the 2,000 troops. Yeah, well, we, you know, as the brothers, we damn there freed ourselves, like David Chappelle said. I know? mean, I get it. But, you we know, had you, to, okay. sometimes you had to have, you know, that face to put their foot in the door and be like, nah, I let them in. Okay. You know? 
right. Yo, speaking of June, um, Juneteenth, um, I just saw this. Um, this was in um, online. I, I peeped it out. It was um, a children's museum in Indianapolis, and they they put a um, they put a, a watermelon salad uh, on, uh, on the menu. So it's just like hold up, in 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 celebration of Juneteenth. Yeah, celebration of Juneteenth. What's it was, that a, it was in a, it was in a children it was in a children museum in Indianapolis, mm-hmm. and they apologized for it and all. And I just kind of feel real distasteful. Yeah, it's just like kind of like the thing is, if y'all have friends that's other and they not aware, then maybe there's certain conversations that we may need to have to say, hey, look, you know, a watermelon salad or what Walmart did with the ice cream, then maybe somebody. You know, I to, think that's a good idea because. Not in defense, but some people may not understand how offensive certain stuff could be to a group of people, especially celebrating a holiday like that. Right. You know, and it's funny because I saw something, an advertisement for a Juneteenth Soul Food Festival and Market. And it's featuring, you know, it's three white hosts on the flyer. And I was just like, wow, like, you know, Sal, ain't no black people on the wall. Right. And, but it's in Little Rock, Arkansas. Right. So I'm trying to figure out, like, are you guys really celebrating Juneteenth? Mm-hmm. And if you are celebrating it without any black people, what, what does that mean? Like, what you know, like, uh, yeah, that's confusing to me. So in Little Rock, Arkansas, but maybe, yo, maybe do yo, maybe watch it afterwards, and then maybe we can you have know, this conversation. And, and I want to, I want to kind of say real quick, well, if you're sympathetic to us being free. How about you live up to your end of the bargain and give us our money? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Let's fight for that. Yeah, 40 acres, and I'll take the 40 acres in the F-150. I, I, you can give me a house in the F-150. It ain't got to be okay. 40 acres. It could be a okay. quarter acre at this point. Yeah, okay. All right. I, I, see. I, can see. I can see where you're going at with that. I mean, it's just like a little insensitive like with certain things. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's I don't like, understand. For example, I got a couple brothers that's ox, and that's like me coming on. The Ramadan after the, you know the the last day, and I show up with some ribs, some pork ribs. Exactly. You know, I know better than doing that. So. Do smoke, man. Yeah, right. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so like, nah, you know. And so. it's like I said, I don't know if they don't understand or they they just look at it as a, a way to make some money. Uh, with, how, how Ms. Ramsey say carpet baggers? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Carpet bag, June tank. Yeah, well, they, they, they yeah. Well, let, just see what, what happens first. They right. might let they it, might let have it some gastro right, 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 and then after. Then, then, you know what I'm saying, then we going there. And we'll talk about that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, then give, give him a chance. Give, you ain't give him a chance there for it. You, you judging the book by the cop. Sorry about that. Right, right. Speaking of that, um, Afram is this weekend. Okay. And uh, okay. Drew Hill Park. So, you know what I'm saying, they got a lot of headliners out there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's going to be Gerald Lewis. I mean, no, I'm sorry. It's going to be the OJs. The OJs? Yeah, it's going to be, the, uh, I'm thinking Eddie LaVert. Uh, you know, the, the OJs will be out there. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Uh, Neil. Um, what's the... Uh, I mean, Neo special way, nice. dude. What's the dude? Uh, uh, Elder Barge. Elder oh, Barge, oh, yeah. Yeah. Barge going to be out there. I like there. it. Yeah, you know. Like, okay, so, that should uh, be dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know go out there and support the food. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I give it some thought. Depending on the weather, you know. Yeah. No, it's going to be nice. This, uh, all week long, it's going to be nice. Okay. I did go to the Hunt Fest. Hunt Fest was definitely nice, you know, so oh, yeah. over the weekend, yeah. That's I went cool. out there, got me a nice little, uh, a corned beef, you know, what, no, a, 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 no, the, uh, what was that? Roast beef. I got me a roast. Oh, yeah, I got me a roast beef sandwich. You know what I mean? I came on out there. That was pretty cool. There go Vore hanging at the Hun Fest. Yeah, yeah. You know, just stop <laughs> through there right quick. And, uh, yeah. So what you? What else you got, Brother G? Man, I got some. Uh, this, this is kind of weird, you know. Uh, in Missouri, a court has ordered Geico to pay a woman $5.2 million after she contracted an STD. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I remember. I, I saw that online. <laughs> so explain to the people what happened with this guy called situation. It's crazy because, all right, she got the the, the um, sexually transmitted disease. Uh, she said she wants to be known as Mo. So she contracted the disease and she filed the claim. Right. And she figured she had an accident in a car. Her and her boyfriend were having relations and, you know, she know it was him, but it was his car. So he's insured. So she said, "I boom, file a claim. Geico said, get out of here. They denied the claim immediately. She took it to court. The state of Missouri said, no, we signed with her. $5.2 million. Wow. And now Geico said, well, hold on. Give us a chance to defend it. And they said, when you denied the claim, that was your chance. So you know Geico is going to appeal the decision, but she's going to get some money. 
Yeah, that's nuts. So that's that, so that means so what about <laughs> so okay, I'm about to I'm about to be funny man right, right. quick. So that means so what about the you know people that was out here running around and they were picking up prostitutes and riding around the car and got and, and got stung in the car. So that means yo, they, they they up for money too. You you know how human beings are. We're opportunists and they figured out a cheat code. Because um, the way this, the, the way I read the story, it was like they were in cahoots. Man, guy could kick her ass out that damn court. Bro. She said, "Baby, you burnt me." He said, "Hold up, hold up, I got insurance." <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> guy could about to kick out some bread. That's we gotta go to bro. break. We gotta pay some bills. We be back in a few with the rest of City Talk. Y'all stick with us. We must secure our families. KFG Life Insurance Specialist is a company that partnered with 15 of the top life insurance companies to ensure you get the best pricing, knowledge, and products to suit your family needs. Some people believe that term insurance is better than whole life insurance, while others feel the complete opposite. Some may is the way to go, and others may feel it's better to have a whole life policy. The truth is, neither of the products are better. One just may be more suitable for your family. Our life insurance specialists are not biased as they are partnered with several life insurance companies. This ensures our clients get the best pricing education and products that are suitable for their families. Let KFG Life Insurance Specialist make these decisions easier for you and your family. Our office is located at Security Square Mall next to Burlington in the Coyote Man Show Network. Please call to make an appointment at 443-400-5224 or go to www.lifeinsurancespecialist.org. That's www.lifeinsurancespecialist.org. Let KFG Life Insurance Specialist help you prepare your family in the present because the future is not promised. Act now. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. City talk. With my man, Rob, 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 Rob. With my man, Roll, 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 Roll. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. We are back. We are back for the last ha- next half of the show. So um. You know, we, 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 we you say Starbucks had something going on. No, Starbucks is down in New York. They um they unionized down in, in uh, New York. Okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah, so how yeah. they say the employees are feeling about? Oh, that? they they feel great about. It. They got benefits. Okay. They got um tuition reimbursement. Mm. And um yeah, you know, like you know, Starbucks. You know, you just look at it like, damn, you know, you just going in to get coffee or, or you know ice, you know iced tea or whatever, or the little cookies and carrying on. But like they got benefits, like mm-hmm. real benefits now. Oh, and I think I, I, I don't quote me on this, but I think um, after a certain time, you're invested with them. After like oh, a year, yeah. oh yeah, you're invested well, with them. You could retire from Starbucks. You could retire wow. from Starbucks. So uh, Amazon is uh, starting to get uh, starting to get unionized in, in certain see. states also. Okay, but that, that's a big leap because, like you said, Starbucks came from just being like a uppity. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Now you know a real career. Yeah, I mean, but yo, people go to Starbucks, man. I ain't never seen Starbucks not. They almost like Chick Fil A right. a little bit. Yeah, you, they, you, they pull would, up, yo, you pull up, you're like, damn, what is that? They actually at? are considered the number two restaurant, McDonald's. And you're talking about chain restaurants? Yep, it's, it's McDonald's, Starbucks, and then it's Chick-fil-A. And I think it's kind of unfair that they call Starbucks a, a restaurant. Right. Because um, if not, Chick-fil-A would be the number one because Chick-fil-A is not open on Sunday. So. Right, right, right. And I, and I appreciate that because the guy, like, um, I forgot his name, but... Uh, 
He said he feels as though all families uh, from Chick Fil A. He said he feel like all families should be home with their families on Sunday. Right, or you know, they, that's why well, they Christians. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, you know, certain Christian values. Right, man. right. Also, but then, boy, it's, it's hot out there today. Oh, yeah, see it this, is. The summer's not even started yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's definitely hot out there. Speaking of uh, hot, uh, Drew Hill Park. Did you see how they re-renovated the pools out there? They no. got the little pool slides, everything stated up, man. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, can't believe it. Something Check nice it out. to take the kids to? Yeah, something mm-hmm. nice to take the kids to. Definitely, it's definitely nice. The Olympic size, all that. They wow. really, they really did it up, no doubt. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Also, too, um, today, too, I also noticed that um, I looked online that the, the, today, Ohio, remember we were talking about the constitutional carry. Mm-hmm. Today in Ohio, they, uh, excuse me. They um they're one of the uh today they are constitutional carry now so so you, Ohio is a constitutional carry state? constitutional carry state now as, as of today, of today. Yeah, wow as long as you're the age of twenty one yeah. another June thirteenth yeah so that's another June thirteenth today and um what else what, what else um to try and get into is um the, uh, you know, I'm going to Angela- talk about something um you heard what happened I think it was a week or two ago in Baltimore where a house caught on fire. Yeah, and it was a body inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was crazy because you know this is just uh, you know certain things moving slow. Um, the person that owned that house, his name actually is Daryl Brown. He lived in PG County. Okay. And for the last couple years, he had been trying to get the city to get people out of the house. He kept calling and telling them they're using it as a trap house. Okay. Now you know what happened, right? As far as you know, we don't have to get into that, right? But. They were supposed to go eight days before that happened. The the city was supposed to go around there and get the people out the house. They didn't do it, jerk their feet, and then we see the tragedy that happened right. inside of that. And it's just like, sheesh, man. Yeah, uh, but, uh, okay, now, the thing is, since we're talking about that, now, a lot of these houses around here in the city that's abandoned, they are owned by other people. Mm-hmm, so, the, the, so the thing is, I, 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 if you have these houses, do something with the, the house. Now, that's that's not the city responsibility. Well, a, a lot of do people that. don't live in the city. You know, a lot of people live out of state. Some of it is property left in people's family and stuff right, like right. that. And you know, some people don't realize they even own it. You know, it's, it's, you know how when you get away from something, you get detached. You know, and that's no right. excuse. But I think the city should have be able to have legislation to move f- forward faster. Yeah, but also too, a lot of those when you go down the circuit court, a lot of those houses that the, what got the tax liens mm-hmm. on them. You can pay the taxes on a house, and if people want them, you can get that. Oh, well, that's certain people's houses. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, okay. But why don't the city? Why don't the city do that though? Like, in, in a sense, like if because I'm not too sure. But remember, I think remember they did have the dollar houses at one time. And I know they're trying to bring it back and all that. And it's just like yeah, um, the new plan wasn't really solid enough to right. go. Okay. So I just want to know, like, I mean, I get it; it's the city responsibility. But if you if you got a band, though, it's just like it's an eyesore to the neighborhood. Like if you if you don't want it, then then get rid of it. Cause I'm quite sure somebody can damn sure no fix the house up. That's right. I mean, but because I mean, the, it's, not, it's not just with that situation. Cause there's people squatting in these houses. Right. It's not the city's of uh, uh, um, it's not their uh, responsibility to maintain your house or anything, cut no. your grass or anything. But if it's crime happening in the no. house, right, it is the city. Well, somebody living in it, that's a crime. If somebody's right. squatting in that house and they're supposed to be there, that's trespassing at that point. Right. But if somebody in there, you know, doing what they're two, doing. two people had OD'd in the house over the course of, you know, a couple of years. So, wow. you know. Yeah. But, well, also speaking, since we're on that topic, too, because also I noticed this happened like two weeks ago and I saw this on the news and it, it, it kind of blew my mind with uh, Constellation, Constellation Homes Insurance. Like, in the city, what they'll do is they'll cover like any sewage and Baltimore County or anywhere else, but in Baltimore City, you know, they won't cover the sewage. So it was a woman, she was complaining, like, yo, I've been paying this for the last 20 years. Well, they don't they don't cover sewage backup? I don't know if it's backup or not. She, they just say the sewage line. They just said the sewage line, Baltimore City, they don't cover that. But people was paying it, and they were just like, yo, people need to really start to look at it because, like, this is insurance. That's, Man, just like, I mean, that- that's like, say, for example, you got insurance with – you know, whoever, Joe Blow, and they just tell you, like, um, oh, we don't cover you. You're like, oh, I've been paying this for the last 20 years. That's a uh, that's an insult to injury at the time. I've been paying this. That's like a serious, that's a super real. Yeah, because I've had insurance license before, and homeowner's insurance is supposed to cover sewage backup. Anything that deal with the sewage, they don't cover flood. You have okay. to buy flood insurance separate. So right. any water coming in, that's your responsibility. But they should have never sold it to the person in the first place if they knew. 
If they I mean, that. right. I I would definitely have an agent or lawyer look over that. Policy. No, 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 no. They said we'll cover it this time for that lady. They said that we'll cover it this time because she had been paying it for over I think twenty something years. You know, she was an elder too. So wow. you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that was something um, definitely looking to. And um, but oh yeah, and the Angelos family. Now that this is an interesting story. The, um, the Angelos family, they are fighting, talking about moving the Orioles to Tennessee or whatever. And uh, 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 John, John Angelos, um, he's the chairman and the CEO. And he mm-hmm. said, as long as uh, Fort Henry is facing the harbor, then the, the Orioles ain't going nowhere. So Yeah, he had to say that because his brother came out and said that uh, he didn't lock everybody out of any operations with the Orioles. And... Um, I think the brother just threw that out there to get some attention because he's basically trying to get his fair share of what's going on okay. in the family business. That's that's some family okay. stuff they going. Oh, through. okay, okay. So he just okay, he just was talking just because I, I I mean I they I, talking I about they threw that idea around not not the actual Oreos organization but you know on sports radio they talked about that some years ago that they would say that the Oreos were thinking about moving to Tennessee. I, I really doubt. Oh no, that's not. I, know. I, I mean, with memorabilia alone. The Orioles make enough just to stay in the city. And, and you got to realize, too, and we in the city, too, that, like, yo, I'm pretty sure somebody around here will buy them way before they let that happen. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's Baltimore amazing. loves the Orioles. I mean, and not only, it's a lot of it's a lot of corporations around here. We got Giant. We got all that. So, you know. So, um. Hey, but real quick. What else? We want to touch on something. Paul McCartney was down here last night. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he was. It was over right. the weekend. Yeah, he yeah. was down. He was down. He was down at the Orioles. He was at the Orioles Stadium. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, uh oh, wait a minute, whoa, okay, wait, well, yeah, was... <laughs> the music didn't change. It's all good. <laughs> but yeah, um, well, yeah, I just want to um say, all right, Paul McCartney packed the house, right? You know of course, saying? I mean he was a part of the Beatles, all right, right. Even Paul McCartney was eighty years old too, and I'm not saying he shouldn't have had a following that he has, but um, you know. What about our artists, you know, and especially in our... We it, talked about this before, we're hip-hop. And, right, in our age group, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Why can't our artists come down here and, and fill out the stadium? You know, fill out Camden Yards, fill out M&T Bank, you know, make it standing room only in Chicken Box. Well, that, that, that's funny you said that, because it's like, you know, I noticed, like, the Rolling Stones been around forever. forever. They've been around forever. And I mean, like, yo, don't nobody say, oh, you're too old to be doing rock right. and roll. They don't say, sit down, old man. Oh, so they, don't, they don't, right. But and I so know why can't Run DMC come and, you know, we had a whole, you know, everything flooded down there with, you know, everybody we got mad at Adidas and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know Can't why. And, hey, support your artists. Support I mean, the artists, of, especially the old school artists. They yeah. made the music that we grooved off of. You know, they, they should be able to eat the same way these, you know, these other artists. And I respect the way they they carry, I respect the way they following comes out. You know, I was listening. Yo, to yo they come long and far too. Yeah, yeah. I, I was listening to something. It was a, a grandmother, uh-huh. a mother, and a granddaughter. You and know, that's went. three generations going to see Paul McCartney. Right, right. You know? Wow, so wow, like, wow. You know what I mean, we got to support our people. Yeah, no right? doubt. Also, too, another thing. Morgan State has they hired a new football coach named. Uh, Damon Wilson, he count he came from Boise State. Oh yeah. And he also wants, you know, championship down there. So he's gonna be the new head coach over at Morgan now. You said Deion Sanders had a real big impact on uh no, what's HBCUs. Going on. Right. Yeah, no, what yeah, he has, man. A lot of he's getting a lot of top recruits and everything. Mm-hmm. You know, him and Nick Sable having a little the, the coach from Alabama, mm-hmm. they've been worn it out. He was like, cause you know, Deion was bringing in real blue chippers. And yo, know, Nick Saban saying you give him money and all that. And nah, it's like, you can't deny it. Yeah. They won't be with, with with prime time, man. Yeah, I mean, hey, yo, not just prime time. A lot of HBCU schools are now starting to step up now. Like yo, they mm-hmm. they getting players across the the board. I think that's a that's a damn good look. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these schools, man, I ain't saying like HBC back in the day. A lot of them, like lot, people don't even know that like. A lot of a lot of uh, Hall of Famers came out of Morgan. A lot of Hall of Famers came out of uh, Eastern Shore, which mm-hmm. don't no longer have a, a football program. No, Art Shell came out of there. Okay. So it's just like, man, like yo, hey, yo, definitely support. Yo, definitely go out. Yo, go see Morgan. Check him out this year. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that because um, this brother sound real passionate about um, what he what he, what he doing over there. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, tell me about you was telling me about uh, Aries tweet. Oh, well, okay, Jack Del Rio is the defensive coordinator for um, the Commanders, um, mm-hmm. Washington Formal Commanders, yeah. formerly known as the Redskins. Right. And he went on there and tweeted, he was talking about the uh, 
the insurrections uh, uh, that January the 6th situation, and he blurts out and he tweets on there saying, oh, no, that was just the dust up. Just the dust up. That's what he said. He said he tweeted that, and he, they removed it and all that. And uh, every was like, oh, hold up. Like, wait a minute. Like, oh, like, this is the, like he, he put his personal twist on it. And uh, Washington, the, the commanders, they, 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 they stepped up there and they charged him a $100,000 fine. But, like, I mean, I yo, mean, that, that, I wasn't a, that wasn't a dust up, though. But. I, well, shoot. I, I, I would say it like this. If it was us in there... Oh, I mean, what would have happened? You know what I mean, yeah, you the know. only the only dust up it was is the people in there that had the complexion. But um, I think you know he should be reprimanded a little bit more because you see the hell Kaepernick went through. It's like don't bring your opinion to work, then. Right. You know what I mean? You can feel the way you want to feel, but don't bring your opinion to work. And you know, especially it's like you looking at mixed race people in this organization. Right. Why you you that arrogant that you think Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and then the thing like is like so what do you think they do to a locker room now? Like, exactly. Like you're like, on real, like you coming in and just like, oh yo, that's what you feel like. Yo, like I mean, we right. all know the job gotta be done, but you put your personal spin on it. So it's just and, and being like, a coach, you want to be respected by your players. Yeah. You know, if, if your if your opinion about something makes me question your, your integrity, your character, something like that. I might not go out and put one hundred and ten percent. Right, field. right, right. Even like even even in just just in general, like I just kind of feel like sometimes you know people get caught up in their own little personal whatever, and then and, and, and you know and you let your inner whatever that is come out, and it's just like kind of like yo, did you think about the, the next wave to this? Right. Because it's just like yo, like you said, this is an organization that you. It ain't like you retired and just said, oh, it was a dust up or whatever. So, I mean. I mean that was that was a crazy day in United States history. You know, oh, for, without a doubt, you know, without a doubt. So, you know, like, I'm just sitting there saying, like, you know, they got a super pass. Yeah, yeah, super well, pass. Yeah. But you know, speaking of some other people that was insensitive, you know, what you talking about with uh, DL? Uh, oh yeah, DL. Monique. I, I I really hope I really wish that just go away, Monique and mm-hmm. DL. Yeah, we we grown and you we. You said they didn't had a, a beef for a minute. Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, she did a stand up. I think they did. It was in Detroit. Um, at the Fox Theater. And they they had a, a misunderstanding. I felt like it, it could have been worked through. Okay, you know what I mean. And it's just like um, I, it was so bad. I'm not even gonna repeat what, what the, the thing is. All I know is DL said that Monique is a monster, and I just hope between two adults, I just hope that you know what I'm saying that they, they can get past this. You know what okay. I mean? Wow, it was uh, that deep. I yeah, it was that. it was crazy. So you know what <laughs> I mean. I, I don't even really want to repeat it. Wow. So yeah. So brother G, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's hot out there. The school. Oh, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. The schools in Baltimore City. To to today, it was so hot that they let the, the schools that didn't have air condition. They let them. They let Again? them out. To the, yo, they let well, them out early so. today. Yeah, it was well, hot. Right. I think it happened last week or a week and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. Back when like when it was starting to get hot like that. So, so yeah. I mean, what, what's what's the issue with that? I mean, I'm, well, I, I mean, there's a lot going on right now, folks. Mm-hmm. That goes. That's just like yo, like on a real. Children, I just, I mean, yo, it's bad enough for adults. It's like, yo, the ones that got to work out there and things. Yeah, it's hard to learn in that kind of yeah, and, and, and we, we remember because we were in schools that, you know, didn't have air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. a lot of people make the argument, well, we had it. You know, we didn't have it. But it's like, this is a different time. I, I would never want to be in that song. Nah. Right and we just talked about that when, when the book records was up here about the air conditioning. Mm-hmm. And everything. like, you know what I'm saying? And it's even, it's even hard for the, the, the teachers to even, like, kind of teach at that time. You know, because everybody going to be agitated and aggravated. Right, you know right. what I mean? I guess that's when we learned that lesson in history. That oh. Your heat definitely will ag- have a person real agitated. As soon as you cool down, you all right. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, um, yeah, Brother G, I mean, hey, um, can't, you know, playoffs, you know what I'm saying? The, the finals. The finals. Yeah, you know. So, so who, 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 uh, you, who? I don't give a damn who win. I don't, you know what I'm saying? What, what, it's Golden State and Boston. I take Golden State. You know, okay, I like yeah. Steph Curry. Okay. I don't, I don't think I don't think he's a real human being the way he can shoot. Oh no 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 no! Shots. But you know his old man can shoot, right? But he just do stuff that it was freaky. You know, being yeah, from half court, court and everything, right. and then that is and then sitting that is on the bench, going in the locker room. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. think he was driving in his car and he hit one out the Maserati or something. Yeah, okay. But we hear that music playing, and we know what that means. You know what? This is City Talk. It's about the end of the show. Yeah, you, you know. know I mean? Next week for another 30. For another 30. This is Big Four and Rod. And I'm telling you, if it's Monday at 7, it's City Talk. Let's get it started. 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 Started.